Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to LEGO Racers. And today, you join me as I am doing post-commentary in this video. Why? Because this is quite a heavily edited video. Why is this heavily edit edited? Because today, folks, we are finally tackling the time trials of this game. Now, for those who haven't played LEGO Racers, the time trials in this game are quite similar to the likes of CTR, being Crash Team Racing, where you're racing around each track as fast as you can, um, while you are setting fast times, you get to face off against a time trial ghost. In Crash Team Racing, there were two time trial ghosts that you faced off against. The first one being against um, Entropy, and then the, the really fast one, which was against Nitrous Oxide. Excuse me, I have just eaten, so yeah, this is going to be kind of unscripted and kind of awkward to do, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, in this game, however, you get to face off against the ghost of Veronica Voltage, who is our time trial ghost for this game. Which, I guess, also technically counts as the dev time ghost as well. But anyway... If you want to unlock absolutely everything in this game, you have to do the time trials, just like CTR. And um, I'll be honest, these aren't too bad to take on. Um, but um, shall we say, there are a couple of tracks where I did have to do some, shall we say, redos. Which you guys won't be seeing, but let me tell you right now, those redos... Oh boy, I will get to that particular track, um, because man, that was not fun. I had to do so many retakes for this one particular track that I was just really not having a good time. But the rest of the tracks weren't so bad. Like, at the most, I'd have to do two, maybe three retakes, and some tracks were really easy. Like, I had to only do, like... I, like for this one, the first track, I did this on my first try. So, you know, some tracks are easier than others. And um, if you actually manage to do it, you get the message of you beat Veronica Voltage, which you guys aren't seeing here because I am doing uh, a lot of editing. Anyway, here we are on race track number two. And, um, yeah, you know, I guess because we're at the ending here. Um, I want you guys to, for those who actually watch this Let's Play, I want you guys to, um, I don't know, send me some questions or say, you know, what's your favourite, what's your favourite uh, video um, or piece of content that I have done for this channel or for this Let's Play, you know, what's your favourite moment, what's your favourite video that you've seen on this channel what type of content would you like to see me do in the future you know just just general comment i'd love i'd love to read some comments because i'll be honest my comments section on most of my videos is quite a barren wasteland i'm not gonna lie so you know having to read some of you guys's comments would be um very very nice to see um anyway here we go the warp boost Huzzah! One of the few tracks where you can actually get the warp boost on, and it is very useful, especially since you're racing against a time trial ghost. Um, also, as you guys can see, I am rocking out with Rocket Racer, because, you know, I figure, you know, you, you go all the way through the circuit mode to, you know, unlock Rocket Racer, so it only makes sense to use him. I ain't going to be handicapping myself, you know? <laughs> Even though I don't think any, I don't think the the car chassis really differ from one another, so it doesn't really matter what car chassis you use. I just pick Rocket Racer's car because it's in my in my opinion it's the best. It's the best looking, and I just it's just my favourite car to use for normal races or time trials in this case. And another victory. To Rocket Racer. There you go, there's the message for you've beaten Veronica Voltage. Once that message has popped up, you are done with that track and you can move on to the next track. 
And it will even say on the course selection screen, time trial one. Which, you know, is very useful, especially if you're trying to unlock Veronica Voltage and her and her car. Which I will be showing off at the very end of this video for you guys, as well as me building her. So that, um, you know, you guys get to see what she, how she um, controls and whatnot. Uh... But yeah, um, I guess while we're going through all these tracks, here, I'll probably give off some of my favourite tracks to race on. Um, Magma Moon Marathon's a pretty fun track to go through. I, I actually really do like the idea of the shortcut where you go through the red and blue doors or the, or the gates, and if you pass through a certain combination of these two, of these um, two gates, it opens up the shortcut, which I'm managed to, managing to actually successfully pull off this time around which I don't know if I actually did in the actual uh, let's play but you know that's cool and um, as you guys can also see on the map the red dot is the um, is is um, the ghost's position and as you can see this ghost sometimes does actually prove to be quite a challenge like I, I, I know a lot of people, you know, see this as a kids racing game here, but there is actually quite a bit of challenge, um, as you guys have seen during uh, my unsuccessful run of facing off against Gypsy Moth, which, um, off camera, I have actually beaten, so, you know, I, I now have her, her character and um, carts unlocked in the... Uh, the build screen. Um, if you guys want me to, I could do like a, I don't know, a showcase of all the boss characters of me playing as them on their home tracks. If you guys really want me to, to cover that. But um, if not, then the very likely this is most likely going to be the final video of LEGO Racers, guys, because there's really not much of any other content for me to really show show off, and I don't have anyone to really play with when it comes to multiplayer, so... Um, yeah, I really haven't got much else to really, say, to really show off about uh, this game after this video. But um, anyway, this track, this took me um, a good number of attempts because um, I think for me, it's just the controls. It's the turning of, of the vehicle in this game that really is just, it doesn't make these time trials easy. Trying to turn can be a real struggle in this game. As you, as obviously, I'm I'm doing quite well here in this in this run through here, but trust me, there are times where I would accidentally drive into a wall, and it would be the most frustrating thing in the world. Seriously, I I hate driving into a wall in this game because of the fact that you lose so much speed, especially if you if you're having a really good run through. Um, anyway, we're now on to the second lot of courses with the tribal track. Um, also, another thing I should point out, guys, there's only three tiers of courses that you have to go through on the time trial tracks. You only have to go through Captain Redbeard's tracks, King Kahooka's tracks, and Basil the Batlord's tracks, and that's it. You don't even go through the mirror mode tracks or the rocket racer track, which is kind of surprising because, you know, considering he actually has a unique track, it's kind of bizarre that they actually don't have his track as a time trial track. But, you know, it, 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 whatever, it is what it, it is what it is, and, you know, I'm not complaining, and hey, if it means I have to do less tracks to get Veronica Voltage, then awesome. And I tell you what, it's def this this time trial unlocked of unlocking Veronica Voltage is a heck of a lot better than you know the unlock that you get from CTR. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like the scrapbook, and I like being able to unlock Entropy. But I'm gonna be honest, as a kid, I was one of those people who was 
really sort of, I guess I should say selfish in a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, like, just, <laughs> I was that kid back in the day where I really was obsessing over trying to unlock Oxide. Like, I was obsessed with trying to unlock that character just because of the fact that he drove such a unique and different vehicle compared to all the other characters in that game. Like, I was obsessed. Like, I would search up on many different cheat websites. I would try to do various things to try and unlock Oxide in that game. And it drove me mad. I'm not going to lie. It drove me mad trying to unlock Oxide in the original CCR. Obviously, nowadays, with Nitro Field, that, that um, lust to try... That, that need and lust to try and unlock Oxide has gone now because of, you know... A, because of emulation has given us the ability to cheat our way to actually get Oxide as a playable character. But also, Nitro Field has, you know given us the gloriousness of being able to play as Oxide in his hovercraft. I know, it, sh it, should it shouldn't be something that I should be obsessing over, but if you were someone like me who played CTR to death as a child, and, you know, you see that all the other characters that you face off against all drive the same go-kart, except they drive it in a different coloured go-kart, and then you see Oxide's vehicle with this really cool green hovercraft with these big exhaust pipes at the side. You'd probably act in a similar manner to me. And as a child, I obsessed with trying to unlock him. And I really didn't want to accept the truth that you couldn't unlock him. And that the, all the characters that you could unlock were characters that you could already, you know, either unlock for adventure mode or through cheats and well eventually I conceded and I was a sad boy but you know I've grown up since then and you know with CTR Nitro Field being released and giving us so much content that my younger self wouldn't believe what kind of content that we got oh man I, I just I don't even know why I'm talking about CTR. Anyway, LEGO Racers. This track, this ice track gave me the most trouble when I was recording this. Oh my god. And you're probably wondering, gee, why is there a second ghost on this track? Well, because that was a run through that I did an earlier test run through on this track where I tried my darndest to beat the ghost, but every single time the ghost would always beat me. So this was pretty much my successful run through. This this footage that you're seeing right now is my successful run through. And again, look, that bit where you constantly hit the wall is the, the most annoying thing in this game because you lose so much speed. Just, oh, not fun. Not fun to hit a wall in this game. And also, I really feel like this shortcut doesn't really work or save too, save too much on seconds because you always slow down. I prefer shortcuts where I can actually drive at full speed, not going to lie. But yeah, this track did not like doing on time trial mode. It was not fun. Not fun at all. But, you know... I persevered, I did not give up, I certainly gave it my all, um, <sighs> could you imagine if I, oh, if I had to do that all over again, like, oh, that was, that was really not fun to, to go through, and, um, you know, happy that it, I don't have to do that track again. Um, anyway, here's the Amazon track. And if you guys want to unlock Veronica Voltage um, on your own version of the game, maybe consider following my, um, my driving style. Um, because it's the, it's the driving uh, style that I use to, to uh, 
just follow my um, driving style, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Just follow this video, and I'm sure you, I'm sure you too will also unlock the mighty Veronica Voltage in your copy of Lego Racers. Even though you guys have probably already done that, because this game is already is really really old. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, speaking of which. I, I actually just do want to like sort of um, speak out towards the guys at TT Games and Lego. You know, I love what you guys are doing with all the modern Lego games. You know, Lego Marvel, Lego DC, Lego Star Wars, and you know, all these ga these modern Lego games are really, really fun, and I love them. But I just want to come out and say like. Could you guys please, like, please consider doing one day, it doesn't have to be today or this month or even this year, please consider doing another, uh, like a LEGO Racers game, or a, a LEGO Racers game like this, or maybe even like a remake or something, just anything. Do you know how awesome it would be to see you guys make a modern one of these, or, or heck, it doesn't even just have to be LEGO Racers, if you want it to be based on one of the brands, like LEGO Marvel or LEGO DC Racers or something, people would buy it. Especially if it's if it plays similarly to this. You know, obviously maybe fix up the controls and make the drifting actually drifting instead of whatever it is you've got going on in this game. <clears throat> And we're golden. And people would buy it because people love the Lego games. And people liked Lego Racers back when it first came out. So, why not? And I mean, it can't be much worse than any of the other licensed kart racers that we've had in the past. And considering, you know, that we've actually got quite talented people working at TT Games at the moment, why not? Why not break the chain of the same gameplay that we've had in all these other LEGO games? And why not try their hands at actually making a kart racer? I think it would be pretty cool. Or heck, maybe instead of being based on brands like Batman or DC or Marvel or Star Wars or whatever, why not use some of those car brands that you've got? You know, like uh, Mercedes or Bugatti or whatever. I'm sure they would be totally fine for you guys to make a Lego kart racer, but you, but you know, use the actual car brands. I think personally that would be really cool, really like really really cool to do. And I mean, heck. You guys have technically already kind of done something similar in the Forza Horizon game, where they had the partnership with LEGO. I personally think it would be really cool. <laughs> like, I don't know about you guys. But, um, anyway. <laughs> um, enough about talking about what I really want and probably will never get, because you know how it is in game development. Uh, we are coming up to the end of all these tracks. We've got, was it, three more tracks to go. We've got the second pirate track here. This was another track that actually gave me a, quite a bit of uh, a problem. Uh, excuse me. That was just me yawning. <laughs> um, but yeah, this track was another one which gave me... Uh, gave me trouble during the uh, the attempts at trying to beat the time trial on this. Whoosh! But yeah, at this point now, as you guys can see, the ghost is now also trying to use the warp boosts as well. It's not just, you know, a simple race. Like, now now you've got to be considering when to use the warp boost. Because, as you, as you can see, Veronica is now also using the warp boosts during her time trial. So, 
this is where it starts to get quite hard and quite challenging. But, like most of it, it's pretty doable. Just got to persevere on and not drive into a wall like I did. <laughs> Driving to a wall again, because why not? And victory. And as you can see, Veronica Voltage, if she looked on the map, she was speeding up. Yeah, you could tell that she was she was in the middle of her warp. But luckily, we finished and beat her on this track. Now it's time for the adventure temple The Adventure level. <laughs> I'm sorry, it got, the loading times are so quick I can't keep up, even though I probably edited them now. Anyway, this was a track I really thought was going to be a lot harder than what it was to do for um, time trial. But uh, actually, didn't it didn't uh, excuse me. I didn't actually have as much trouble as I thought I was going to have. There's me using the drifting again. Ugh. Drifting in this game is not fun. It's not drifting. It's really a tight, a super tight turn. Like, you know, um, in Twisted Metal, that kind of tight turning. Yeah, it's, it's that. It's literally that, except just, it just doesn't work. In that, in a car combat game like Twisted Metal, it works because you're not racing against anyone. You're fighting against the other cars and blowing them up. Where in this game you're racing and it just... <coughs> it doesn't work. And I got really lucky not getting hit by the um, lightning there. But yeah, as you guys can see, we're actually um, developing quite a... A distance away from, from the ghost. Which is good. Because it means my racing skills are good. And I'm doing well. Also, I don't know if they've turned off the trap there. Because as you guys have probably seen in the Let's Play. The, the annoying Pharaoh trap. Usually plagues that final section. I think they actually turned that trap off during the time trials. Which is, you know, thank, thank God. <laughs> you know, thank God. Thank God I don't have to deal with that. Especially if I'm trying to set a fast time. I also see that Veronica Voltage tries to delay her, her portal um, boost during that section where you, you drift, where you're hard turning left, right, left, right in that one section. But anyway, victory for Rocket Racer once again. <clears throat> As we now take on the final track, the Alien Track. This was also a track which I had a few uh, shall we say, f um, mess ups at the start there because of the annoying UFO that would constantly knock me back. Oh, and here's the shortcut which I failed to showcase during the actual circuit races. It's useful because the, the ghost doesn't use it. And I think there we go, use it. Whoosh. And another boost, just for good measure. And I got another boost. Huzzah! Get to use the shortcut again, awesome. I 
and I am sucking at getting the uh, getting the bricks. Thankfully, Veronica Voltage wasn't too far back, or like far enough back to the point where she didn't pass me, so I could still sort of get away, even though I got hit by the the UFO. Or at least, you know, the UFO pushed me back, which is annoying, but whatever. Now this was tense, because she is right on my tail. If you look at the map, she is right on my tail. So I used my boost, and finished. And because of that, it should say we have beaten Veronica Voltage. Which we have, there we go. And we are now presented with this um, additional cutscene. You have beaten all my best racing times and have proved you are worthy of one of the fastest LEGO racing cars. Mine! And there we have it! Veronica Voltage is unlocked! So let's go to the build menu and quickly build her right now. Thankfully they put her parts really close together on the build menu. <clears throat> and uh, once we've built her and tested her out on the test track, we are done with this Let's Play, folks. So, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy that, you know, we're, we've actually managed to do a full Let's Play. For one of these playthroughs in recent years because I'm gonna be honest I have been kind of slacking <laughs> with some of my let's plays where I start them and then I don't finish them but there she is Veronica Voltage and here we are on the test track which I don't know if I got to show off in the let's play but here it is anyway it's a really um, really interesting and short track where you could just test out the car but um yeah there she is Veronica Voltage in a, in a really fast car. And to be honest, it kind of controls like all the other cars anyway, so it's kind of cool, but in the same way it's kind of not. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this series. If you enjoyed it, do please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and join me next time for more gaming action. See you all then.